Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how-to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to use animation curves with material parameters. From documentation, we could use animation curves to animate material parameters, morph targets, and other properties to synchronize the animations. Animating material parameters is straightforward. I'll cover morph targets on another video, so subscribe if you want to be notified for that. In this video, I'm just going to animate the logo and also create our own emissive uh, parameter and animate that within our animation sequence. Let's go. So here I have the third person template. Uh, you could use any character or material that you like that has an animation. So I'm just going to stick with the default animation. So I'm going to go with the Quinn uh, idle animation here. And basically I just want to animate this logo on the chest of the character. So if I jump to the SKM Quinn character here and go under um, the material slots here, this is using M instance of the MI Quinn. So if I open this instance and go to the parent material, which is the M underscore mannequin, you would see that this is how the material has been set up. So the emissive here is the one that's hooked up to the logo. Um, this emissive is actually defined somewhere up in here, which we don't need to care about. Yep. And other parameters here, we have a bunch of parameters and the logo here being one of them has a logo size parameter. So if you want to animate that bit within your animation sequence, what you could use is the animation curve. So I could go under the skeleton here and I could search for curves under the window menu, select curves and you would see this. Notice that there's curves for the skeleton. There's also a curve for the skeletal mesh. Um, what we need to do is the one on the skeleton so the data is saved on the skeleton. So click on add uh, curve there and type in logo size. Make sure that the naming is exactly the same as the parameter. And you would see two options here. One's morph target and the other one's material. So to enable material, just tick on that and the checkbox will appear. Hit save. Go to your animation sequence now. And you would see this options under the playhead here. Um, we have curves. I talked about additive layer on my previous video. Go check that out if you haven't. So under curves here, click on add curve and you could now search for the new curve we just created, which is logo size. That would add it here on the timeline here. So let me just grab this. I could double click on this one and it would open up the curve editor. Within the curve editor, if I scrub, nothing's happening yet. As you could see or notice though that the chess logo already disappeared because the val default value of this is zero. So to create a keyframe here, you actually need to select here and hit the enter key. And that would create that tiny um, tiny keyframe there. So And you could scrub it to the timeline. So around 14, I'm going to hit the enter key again. And that's going to create a keyframe. And if I drag this keyframe, you notice that the emissive part of the logo is resizing. So it's now 0.015. I'm going to grab the scrub it, hit enter, set that to zero. We'll put it down and scrub it again, hit enter and 0.15 to resize it back and say zero again. Oops, as you can see I didn't hit enter so that actually created move this keyframe which I didn't want. So make sure you hit enter if you want to adjust. It's not auto keyframe unlike the sequencer. Maybe that's going to be an improvement for the next one. All right. So if not, if I scrub this, you would see that the logo is animating. Now, if I go to my third person, because that animation sequence is being used here, 
preview that you would see that the logo appear disappear because there's a long pause in our idle where we have it removed I actually think that I need to put that back so maybe on the first frame here let's actually put that to like that and this one to like that so that the logo is always there disappears back and always there but a bit bigger cool so that's how you would animate an existing parameter for an instance what if you want to create your own um, parameter so that's a quick one so I'm just gonna hijack this emissive create our own emissive one um, so I'm gonna right click select constant convert this to a parameter just to again say name it as glow create another constant vector tree vector gonna change the color to something like that and I'm going to multiply this and hook it up like so. So now we created our own material parameter called glow with a value of zero. So if I do one, this is how that material will look like. So I'll put it back to zero. Now if I go back to the skeleton, um, this time let's create the same parameter, glow. Make sure you're inside that box when you're typing the name and hit enter to save it. And this time, just untick that, save, go back to any animation sequence. So this is per animation sequence. If you want another animation, you need to do the same thing here. So here I'm going to say glow, double click, and the one below is the glow. So you could actually do that edit two uh, curves at a time or just one curve at a time so here I'm gonna hit enter and similar to what we did just hit enter adjust it and like that and like that so this type of interpolation is what you call linear. You could select everything and you could also do a cubic interpolation. So it ramps up, slows down, ramps up, slows down. So depending on the type of animation that you want, you could do that. And if I go back here, we could preview it within here. So we'd see that the character is now glowing when it's on idle. But when the other animation plays, like the run, the run forward, the jump, none of those materials are on those uh, curves are on those animations, so it won't affect that. Cool, so hope you like this tip. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel. Cheers, bye for now.